like sunshine Feels like everything stops for a while When we look into each other's eyes How could I ever let you go now When you're looking like that So we just pulled up to Grand Zines Meat Market in New Braunfels uh, We like to get our meat there um, whenever we get a chance. We haven't been in a while, so I wanted to go and stock up on some stuff. It is a little bit of a drive for us, so that's why we don't come here like every week to get meat, but I wanted to take you along with us as we get some meat at Grand Zines Meat Market. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. My name is Katie. I do lifestyle and motherhood videos weekly. And I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. It would really help my channel out a lot and it is free. You can also go follow me over on Instagram. I'm very active on stories over there as well. And let's jump into today's video. Starting with the non-refrigerated stuff, this is pork jerky. I thought that it was turkey jerky in the case, but they said they were out of turkey jerky. I only got two pieces since I wasn't sure if I'd like it or not. And then we got two of the spicy sausage links. It's the dried sausage. So I cut some up for Justin to take to work. So we just slice them pretty thin, like about like I don't, I'm not good with measurements, but about that thin and snack on it. Um, it doesn't need to be refrigerated. I was told before that it'll actually last longer if it's not refrigerated and if you leave it open. If you put it in a baggie, it gets moldy pretty quick. So I just leave the whole thing open, but it's really good. I love the dried sausage. Then I got some of the jerky, McKenzie and Justin like this. It's just like peppered jerky. I'm not a huge jerky fan. It just gets stuck in my teeth. It's really hard to eat. I prefer the dried sausage or like the thin sliced jerky that they have over the old-fashioned like typical jerky that you would think of. Hey, what's wrong? Okay, so here is the refrigerated stuff that I got. We love these tri-tips, so they're already seasoned. Um, they're pre-seasoned tri-tips. Trying to get the camera to focus, um, but they are so good. They have all this yummy seasoning. My parents um, always get these. We actually had this for Christmas Day. I either like sear it and then bake it in the oven, and I don't really season it anymore because it's already seasoned, or my dad um, has done it on the grill before, so Justin wanted to try it on the grill. We like to cook it a little bit on the rear side, that way we can eat the ends and then save the middle, like the thicker part, as leftovers. I cannot stand leftover steak once it gets cooked more because I really don't like well done meat. This is really good, like thinly sliced with some horseradish and it's so yummy and so it's good for leftovers if you just barely reheat it since you have that thicker piece so i got this one which is almost two and a half pounds and i like we like to freeze these too because they're already in these like sealed things this one is just about two pounds so before I went, Justin was asking me how much I spend on our steak because we always have a steak night every week pretty much and we just split a ribeye. And our steaks lately have been 15 to $20. So he was like, why don't you get some of these? That way we have some leftovers because like there's more meat that we can eat off of it. So I grabbed more. Um, this one is 2.28. And then I grabbed this bigger one, which is 
just over three pounds, so it's quite a bit bigger. The big one is for us to take to Dallas whenever we go see my best friend and her husband in a couple weeks. I thought this would be great for us to bring. Um, that way we could all have some and eat it. Um, so yeah, we got four tri-tips. Really excited about those. And the great thing about these are they taste like just as good after they've been frozen, in my opinion. So three pounds of chicken tenders. I probably should have gotten more. So their chicken tenders are really fresh. I really like them a lot. A lot of times there's less like tendon, like fatty, yucky part on it than at HEB, in my opinion. It just depends though. I do see some little tendons. Um, it just depends what they have. But a lot of times I do prefer this over the HEB. And I think it is a little bit more affordable. I'll have to price check it again since prices are going up lately. But um, three pounds should last us a while. And I usually freeze like four. These strips are also bigger than the ones from HEB. The HEB strips I usually freeze like four to six per pack. These I usually do like two to four per meal. So I'll freeze them in baggies or we'll do the food saver baggies. These are cowboy peppers with sausage and pepper jack cheese. So it has, um, I think it's like breakfast sausage. So it's a jalapeno wrapped in bacon and then stuffed with cheese and breakfast sausage, I think. So my plan was to bring these to Dallas too, but I don't know if it's a good idea to freeze the peppers or not. I don't know. I'm going to have to decide if that's a good idea or not. But that is why I originally brought, brought these. I thought this would be like a good appetizer or snack um, to take with us to our friend's house. And then next we have split breast. I asked for four split breasts. I should have gotten more of these too. That's, so these are the split breast. There's four of them in there. Two and then two underneath. And then I also got a pound of peppered bacon. Their bacon is really good. The bacon that I just got from HEB I think was $6 and it's not nearly as good and I don't think we get as much. This is a lot thicker. Look at all that yummy goodness. It is really good bacon. So this will last us a while. Same thing, I'll freeze um, a few strips per bag and just pull it out as we need it. So that was all the meats that we got. Mackenzie did a little shopping with Nana. Um, so I'll show you all real quick what she picked out and talked Nana into buying her. Mackenzie picked out these banana chips. Um, we've never had these before. No idea if she'll like them or not, but um, I was impressed that she picked these out instead of potato chips because they were right next to the potato chips. Then she picked out two white potatoes and then she picked out two green apples and a thing of sugar cookies. So her and Hunter have been eating some sugar cookies right now. I have no idea if their sugar cookies or their baking uh, baked goods are any good or not. I usually stick to the meat. They also have a lot of like deli meat and cheeses and you can order a sandwich there. Their sandwiches are amazing. If we weren't going to lunch right after I definitely would have gotten a sandwich because I usually do when we're there. So they have a lot of other random stuff too. So that wraps up our Grand Zines meat market haul. Just wanted to share with y'all in case you haven't been to a meat market or if you live in the area and you haven't been to Grand Zines yet, you should definitely go check it out. If we lived closer, we would be in there all the time. Like I said, they have the sandwich, deli meats, a small area of produce, some baked goods, uh, they have like a small area that's just like a little grocery store if you forget something or need something. And then they have a lot of meat. Um, they, I even saw some frozen rabbit, like whole rabbit. Um, I mean, it's skinned and ready to eat, but um, I saw that there and I've seen frog legs there before. Um, they have catfish, seafood, so many yummy things. Um, 
and a lot of like fancy steaks like those tomahawk steaks just so many things that i would love to try someday i hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below really appreciate it if you would subscribe thank you so much for watching bye